Hello, my name is Dragan. I'm founder of Environmental Modeling Solution, and this is online course introduction to groundwater recharge estimation using unsaturated numerical models. Why we need groundwater recharge rates? Very simple, we need it in our water resource studies and environmental studies. So in water resource we want to see a balance, how much water we can get uh, we can get from precipitation and other processes and which will recharge the aquifer. And in environmental studies mostly we are interested to see how much how fast contaminant is moving. Okay, let's begin our journey. Only a few seconds. This is how it starts. So water is is falling on the ground. So that's okay. Then we have soil water processes. Okay, I will use my pointer. First we have puddling or runoff. Runoff is lateral movement of water. <coughs> if water uh, cannot infiltrate the ground. If it's infiltrate, then it's called infiltration. After infiltration we have redistribution, redistribution where water is moving in different directions. Then we have percolation. It's downward movement and capillarity it can be upward or on side movement storage is important for it can be empty by in a storage can be water can be uh, lowered water content can be lowered by uptake by roots or evaporation and this is what we are interesting in this course deep percolation or drainage or which will eventually become groundwater recharge the course is starting first with soil texture which is very important for uh, soil texture is combination of silt sand and clay particles and soil structure arrangement of the soil particles and the pore space very important in this one thing to notice is that soils are heterogeneous. You see this part of soil profile. It looks like very homogeneous, but when we uh, pour the dye, you see the infiltration front or wetting front. How heterogeneous it is. So then we will learn a little bit about not a little bit in details actually about water uh, soil moisture and water potential everything is on a uh, uh, course web page and we will learn how actually you will learn how to set up a monitoring network to measure water potential and soil uh, water content and then use it in unsaturated models like hydros, which we will use in this course. Then we construct, uh, you will learn how to construct soil moisture curve, a little bit of lab, and from soil moisture, uh, from soil retention cure, soil retention cure, we will get the uh, unsaturated. Uh, hydraulic parameters for our hydros model okay and I will bring you back to my web page learn environmental modeling by example it can change in the future but this introduction will stay a little bit about me these are courses you are interested in this one since you are looking this video and you have more than five hours of carefully chosen video material which will lead you to groundwater research estimation. Please read it, there are a lot of usable, useful information. And on the bottom, there are frequently asked questions. When does the course start and finish? How long do I have access to course? 
And what if I am unhappy with the course? You can read it, but I will tell you, you have a 30 days money back guarantee. So take a look at it. If you don't like it, we can return you the money. Okay. I hope that this will be useful for you. And please, one more thing. You have a possibility to ask as many questions as you want on the former forum of this course and any other course on my school. Thank you.